Hi there and welcome to the show, I'm Ollie and today I'm going to be showing you one of my own cars out of my garage that I use online and I'm going to do a test of it around the Nürburgring. This is my 1997 BMW M3 in the Jägermeister colour scheme. I picked the Jägermeister colour scheme because it's one of my favourites that they've ever put on a race car. Uh, it has, I believe it's BBS wheels on it. Very, very big exhaust which I like and a bit more about the car 446 horsepower 358 foot-pounds of torque weighs 3236 pounds 51% of the weight is over the front I have just skipped it down my garage I apologize and it has a 3.2 litre straight six engine I use this I believe I used this for drift last time I used it it's been quite a while so this could end very very badly whilst driving around the Norge life Because I've not been playing a lot of Forza recently, I've not really tuned a lot of my cars in a while, so everything's a bit of a guess. So it's, uh, yeah, but I enjoy cars at six A six hundred class because they seem the most well rounded to racing. S cars can be fun, but you get too many idiots just putting too much power into the cars and can't handle them. And then B class is great for close racing on short circuits, but A is my favourite overall. Oh, this is set up for grip, it turns out. Just having a quick look at my setup then. If anyone wants to pause the video of those last little bits and have a look through, they can do the same setup as me. Sounds fantastic, this. I was watching some uh, YouTube videos with my uh, with my dad last night, and it seems to be that on the Nurburgring, there's a lot of people shot with this model M3, that and the touring one. I can understand why because it is a great car. does understeer a little bit though I will admit this is what I'm looking forward to now little strike section jump break for this bit because I always end up going flying off. Almost managing to miss that corner completely. This so far has actually been a really good lap.
See, playing this tripe for what it used to be on uh, Gran Turismo 4, it's a whole different kettle of fish now. The track's so much more defined and seems harder as well. Oh! It's going well to that point. Ah, well. Just a little love tap. This was one of the sections that there was a lot of people filming uh, all the different bits of camera stuff. You should seriously consider having a look at some of the YouTube videos. Didn't get that drift very right then. Oh, it's got a bit squirrely. Thing just flies up here. I'll break a bit, don't want to understeer. This is the corner that they mostly do all the filming on because people always go wide on here and crashing here as well. There's some funny crashes that people just get it completely wrong but there's some ones that people nearly lose it and just manage to keep it in one piece. Sorry if I'm not talking very much by the way, it's just uh, 
This truck, you have to concentrate, otherwise it will rip your face off. Oh, gone off. Bugger. So this is going to be a sub 10 minute lap with some sloppy driving in parts. My challenge for you YouTubers is to try and see if you can do this a better lap time with an A600 BMW M3 than I've done. And the lap time is 9 minute 18.8, is that 8.05? But 8.06. That is your challenge, YouTube. So, thanks very much for watching. I've been Ollie Parkinson. Remember to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video, as I'm about to have this massive crash to leave you with. Oh, maybe not. I've managed to save it. Look at that. Just saved it. And also the skid marks on there, apart from... If this was my real car, the skid marks would be much longer than this. Not on the actual track, but in my pants. Started... Around... Actually, where did these start? We started up here. That's quite a big skid. Well, thanks very much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Bye-bye.